12th annual Aruna Run is a week from today. It raises money and awareness to fight sex trafficking. Local 12's Clancy Burke is at Smale Park in the rain to show us why a woman says that nonprofit changed her life. Clancy. Hey, Sheila. People run for all kinds of reasons. For some, it's to lose weight. Maybe it's to stay active, or in this case, it's to help free women who are victims of sex trafficking. It's one of those things we don't really talk about a lot, but it's happening all around us. And yes, it is happening here in the tri-state. The Aruna Project is a nonprofit that frees women of sex trafficking, and then they use their for-profit, which is an athleisure and lifestyle brand, to employ them. Last week, I met one of their employees, Katie, who spent a decade of her life surviving on the streets. She had a bumpy childhood where she experienced trauma, abuse, and a lot of drugs in the household. And by the way, this wasn't her choice. I mean, this was all forced upon her. And then when her mom passed away at 18, she left home and she had nowhere else to go. Well, now Katie is 29, and even though it was a difficult and long path to get here, she made it. She's been working for Aruna for almost a year, and she's no longer the person she once was. People can change. I mean, I was, you know, at a very low point in my life, and, you know, some people probably give up, like, gave up on me, like, I didn't have no hope, but, I mean, I'm a productive member of society today. Studies estimate that as many as 8 out of 10 women who are freed go right back into the same sex trafficking system. And that's why the, uh, the for-profit part of this Aruna project is so important because it guarantees them that freedom. You know, they have a paycheck. They have a place to be. So that's incredible. This run, by the way, is a week from today on Labor Day. And I am hoping we're going to have a lot better weather. You know what? I'm not hoping. I, I know it. I just know it in my bones. And I'm also hoping this weather clears up this morning. <laughs> for now, I'll send it back to you in the studio.